Today we're going to talk about adjectives. Adjectives are words that modify nouns. They modified or changed the meaning in some way or focus the meaning of the word. Okay, I have an idea. I have a good idea. Good is an adjective. It's not a really strong adjective. I have a bold idea. Okay, um, there are stronger adjectives, some stronger adjectives than others. I have a water bottle. I have a big water bottle. I have a big half full water bottle. Um, so those are adjectives. In English, most adjectives come right before the noun that they describe. For example, a big house, a strange story, an only son. Okay? Um, sometimes they come after a linking verb, too. Another common place is after a linking verb. Miss Annie is friendly. Okay? That dinner looks delicious. So when the adjective is describing the subject but comes after the verb, then it is a predicate adjective like this one. Some predicate adjectives look like verbs. For, for example, this one, I was tired that night. Tired describes this person, I, me. Um, so in that case, it's a pre predicate adjective. But sometimes it's really a verb. He was kissed by Katy Perry. Kissed does not describe the boy. Um, it talks about an action that took place. Okay? Ask yourself, is it an action like the kissed here, or is it describing the subject like tired here? You will have some of those in your exercises in your, in your workbook, so you need to pay attention. In the sentence, is the word being used as a describer or as an action word? Okay. Proper adjectives are made from proper nouns. For example, England can become English, okay? The English language comes from England, okay? Proper nouns and proper adjectives should be capitalized in English. I know that in Spanish, you don't capitalize proper adjectives, but in English, we do. Um, some adjectives are compound. He lent me his worn out jacket. Compound, just like with compound nouns, compound adjectives are made of two words put together to make one word. This, this one is hyphenated. Just a little note here, if the same expression is used after a linking verb, you don't use a hyphen. So, um, his, he lent me his worn hyphen out jacket. The jacket was worn out. It doesn't need a hyphen if you use it after the uh, linking verb there. Um, sometimes nouns are used as adjectives. These are called nominal adjectives. For example, I want to buy a book cover for my photo album. Book is a noun, but in this sentence it's an adjective. It's a nominal adjective. Same thing with photo. Photo is a noun, but here it's used to describe the album. Comparative Adjectives are used to compare an aspect of two nouns. So, Diego is faster than Eduardo. So, we're comparing the two boys. One is faster than the other one. But Eduardo is funnier. And you can see the different ways here of forming comparative and, in a minute, superlative ad adjectives. Um, faster is a regular adjective plain old regular adjective, you just add er for, com for comparative form. Um, if you have a y at the end of the adjective, then you need uh, to change the y to i and then add er. By the way, funnier does not mean more fun. It means more funny. Um, <laughs> we need to get that straight because a lot of times I see that mistake in people's writing assignments, they say, we went to the beach yesterday and it was funny. You were laughing, there was a joke, okay? So fun means divertido, funny means chistoso. Okay, little blurb there. Superlative adjectives are used to compare one noun to a group of others. For example, Suwani is the greatest joke teller I know, but she's the worst at spelling. Okay, so greatest 
here is superlative because I'm comparing Suani to all of the other people I know who tell jokes, okay? And notice that when we use the superlative, we put the word the in front of the superlative. Suani is the greatest joke teller I know. And same here, the worst at spelling. This is an irregular form. Some adjectives take irregular forms for their comparative and superlative. For example, um, bad would be the normal form. We call that the positive form. Um, that could be confusing, right? Uh, and then worse, W-O-R-S-E, would be the comparative form. And then worst is the irregular form of that verb in the, in the superlative. Um, same thing with good, better, best. A little, less, least. Okay, there are several of those. Not too many, um, but you just have to learn them as you go, kind of. You know, that's the way it is with irregular things. And if you hear meowing, that is my cat. She's the best. There's my cat. She is the sweetest thing. Okay. Now, for longer adjectives, use more or most. For example, Victoria is more beautiful than I. She's the most beautiful girl in our class. So we use more and most. One exception to that rule that it's the longer ones is the word fun. Actually, it's the only exception I can think of. Um, fun, we use more and most. We don't say funner and funnest. We say more fun and most fun. So that party was the most fun party I've ever been to, like that. Um, if you say funnier, that means it's mas chistosa. And that doesn't mean the same thing, right? So we need to be sure we use the correct Form. That's probably why someone came up with the bright idea to go ahead and use more and most with fun. Um, when it's a two-syllable word, uh, if it's only like four or five letters, then normally we use um, this construction here, like funnier, okay? Especially if it ends in Y. Um, funnier, prettier, mm, sillier, all of those. But if it's longer than five letters, this is not a, a written and concrete rule, but in general, if it's longer than five letters, we usually use the more and most construction to make it. Hopefully these things help you with adjectives and hopefully you uh, will do well on your workbook pages. That's all I have for you today. Have a nice day.